Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Monday, May the 13th. Morning prayer begins on page 80. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Christ has entered into a sanctuary not made by hands, a mere copy of the true one but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ the Lord has ascended into heaven. Come, Come let us adore him. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Hallelujah. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. Death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin. And alive, and alive to God, God in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Christ, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. Christ the Lord has ascended into heaven. Come, let us adore him. Hallelujah. Psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 89, verses 1 through 18. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? Almighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens. The earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south, Tabor and Hermon, rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand, and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion came forward to him, beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home in terrible distress. And he said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion answered him, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I am a man under authority with soldiers under me, and I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does. It. When Jesus heard him, he marveled and said to those who followed him, truly I say to you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. 
I tell you, many will come from east and west and sit at table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, while the sons of the kingdom will be thrown out into outer darkness. Their men will weep and gnash their teeth. To the centurion, Jesus said, Go, be it done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed at that very moment. And when Jesus entered Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying sick with the fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she rose and served him. That evening they brought to him many who were possessed with demons, and he cast out the spirits with the word, and healed all who were sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 8. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and his rider as he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army as he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear honor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep is overwhelmed. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome and renowned, and worker of wonders? You stretch forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> I believe in God. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended from the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. And I'll <laughs> with you. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. That your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. For saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Alleluia, alleluia, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.